All right, thanks for joining the video. Today we're gonna play with the brand new Mid Journey editor and retexture feature to kind of show you what that's all about. And I think you're gonna see that's a lot of fun. Um, if you're new to Mid Journey or haven't been using it in quite a while, you might have to wait a minute to be able to use this because it's just now launched and typically in Mid Journey fashion, they want people who've been using it a while to play with it first. Um, and that's because they're kind of limiting how many people are using the tool at once so it doesn't break. Um, so currently you have to have 10,000 images created, a yearly membership or a monthly membership, but you've got to have a year under your belt, right? I'm sure that'll change later, but here's where it is. So normally, you know, when you come to Mid Journey, you know, this is where it looks like. Right here, there's a new edit button, right? So if you have access, that's great. So uh, good for you. And then you can start playing around with this stuff. So what I want to do today is I want to play around with using an image I've already created. Now, you can upload your own photo. You can also, uh, you know, right here, you can also get stuff from the internet. All you need is a URL. Um, and then what we want to do more than anything is play around with some stuff. Now, I will tell you that you've got a lot of features, a lot of controls here. For example, you can change the aspect ratio. You can change a lot, just like normal, You've got all these controls with this stuff. So I think that's going to be a, a good source for you. I can't anticipate what you're going to want to change, but I do want to show you how to use the tool. So let's go ahead and find uh, an image, right? And I'm just going to use something I've used before, uh, which is a uh, guitar player. Uh, and uh, I made this, I don't know, a while ago. And um, it's kind of an interesting image, but... You know what we want to do is we want to play play with it, right? So we're going to have suggest prompt. Now this is a cool feature where Mid Journey sees the image. Of course, this all comes from the old describe command, right? Um, and sees the image and it gives you what it thinks the prompt is. Now the fun part here is that we can change stuff, right? So we're instead of a man, let's make it a woman. Right, and uh, she is wearing jeans and a white shirt. The scene is warm lighting, but da -da -da. the stuff should be very detail. Uh, holding it, the overall moon is warm, massage it with a touch of artistic flair. Now, so what we have to do is we have to edit this image to get it going. So if I went and just said, hey, submit edit, right, nothing's going to happen because we haven't touched the image yet. Right. So what we need to do is we need to delete the person. Right. And you don't you can be as precise as you think you want to get. Um, and uh, so this is just me taking out the person. There you go. Now we hit submit edit. Now, what this is going to do, of course, is that we're going to change this image from a guy playing the guitar to a woman playing the guitar. And that's kind of the fun part here is that um, you can totally mess around with this stuff and get different images. And of course, we could have changed other other uh, elements of the prompt if we wanted to. And this gives you four images back. So here's four images of a woman playing the guitar. I kind of like that one the best. It kind of looks relaxed. OK, but now let's try the retexture feature. So I'm going to click right here, right? And then what I'm going to do is instead of a watercolor painting, I'm going to say oil, right? And then I've got my favorite style codes that I kind of play around with a lot. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to do an SREF with an SREF style code. And I'm going to hit submit retexture, right? Now, what this is going to do, of course, is it's going to change it from a watercolor to an oil. And because I, I've got an SREF in there, it's going to use those attributes of that style code to completely change this whole image, right? And then we can get something completely new out of it. So this is how you can get something you like. You know, it's the same pose. It's the same person sitting and playing guitar. But what's going to be really fun is that it's just a completely different image. 
And so this is how you can use source images to create new things. So here's our, uh, we've got a couple different images that we've created using this, uh, this SREF. Now it's a woman playing the guitar, completely different than where we started, right? But it's still the same pose. It's still the same guitar. It's still the kind of the same background, you know, kind of look. But what we've done is we've created a new image We've completely edited and we've got a different result. And I think that's what's going to be really fun with this mid-journey uh, edit and retexture feature. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to learn more about how to use mid-journey better, please subscribe to the mid-journey experience newsletter. Uh, this is a weekly newsletter that's focused on creative professionals who want to use mid-journey better in their work. Uh, it comes out every week, and it's only $12 a month. So anyway, thanks for watching. Take care, and uh, we'll talk to you later. See you.